One of the coolest features about the Memory Palace is the ability to load still images from an internal SD card. This not only gives you a convenient way to bring external images into the system, but it also allows for the Memory Palace to be used completely independently. To access stills, simply navigate in the main menu to where it says INS, push the button once until it reads still. There are other ways to use stills in combination with ARGB, but we'll get to that in a future video. By pushing the red button, you can navigate to the image selection screen. Memory Palace is capable of storing 32 folders of 32 images each. You navigate through by pushing the up and down buttons to select either a folder or a still. Once on still, push the yellow button to go through the different options. These are a series of black and white gradients that come with the Memory Palace. You can also load your own images. You can also switch folders by navigating to the folder and pushing the button. You'll get a quick loading message as the Memory Palace loads all the images into memory. Let's go back to the Ramps folder. Let's select the still called Pentag. You can now navigate back to the main menu where you'll see the image loaded into the buffer. From here, all the commands work basically the same as they would in an input situation. So we can zoom, we can rotate, we can spin and use motion controls just as usual. And of course we can also apply the keyer. By pulling the width down, I could start to get interesting effects from the gradient. Inverting the signal will be nice in this case. These gradients are specifically designed to take advantage of the window keyer built into the memory palace. I'm going to turn off spin for a second. Set this to tile. Pull the contrast down. spin it with some reflection going on. If I set the path to paint, new possibilities emerge. I'm going to reset everything back to zero. Turn on Y scrolling. Turn on a little spin. Adjust the speed of the scan a little bit. And you start to get some very complex effects just from the Memory Palace. There are a ton of things that we can explore in future videos by using the Still Image Loader.